if there's a question I get asked a lot, it's how I mount and run my throttle pedal. So, as you can see, I have a external throttle pedal. It is not hooked up to the dashboard and not just a lever. If, if you, you guys have one of those levers that go up and down that stay stationary wherever you put it, it's not ideal for the off-road mower gang. It's 100% ideal to have it controlled by your foot. Now, there's a few things you're going to want to do when you run this. The first one being you're going to need to delete your governor linkage. I'll show you guys that right off the bat and that's in the carburetor setup. So let's get in there. Alright, so getting into the engine bay here, you guys can see. Alright, so from factory we're going to have a linkage bar here that comes off of the engine. Now, this linkage goes down to a few different springs and other linkage bars and essentially goes into the motor to a gear. Now, if you want to do a full governor delete, you have to actually open up the engine and take out the gear. Now, what we do is a governor bypass. So, we take off the linkage that went from here to this little 90 degree arm here. And then what we do is run our cable through a pinch block here. So you guys can see, it's just the normal uh, bolt that goes through the engine to hold the cover on, and I bent up a washer so that it pinches the cable. And this works absolutely flawless. This is a great solution. And then we run the cable through here, as you can see, down to this little arm, and then we throw a little crimp onto our cable, and we're good to go. Now the biggest thing you guys need to do is add this big return spring in here. The return spring is a necessary. So as you guys can see, this little arm here, it has to hit that little tab back there. So as you can see, when I hit the throttle, it always returns right back to where it needs to go, which is idle. So I can adjust my idle by adjusting this screw back here, as you can see, and turn up my high idle or turn it down for low idle. You always need that to return or else you're gonna have throttle issues. So we add one spring in there, and then as you guys have seen, we add the second spring in here so that it always returns. Like to do is add a little bit of play onto my pedal so that when I'm bobbing down the trail and my foot's sitting on here vibrating because this is a solid uh, mounted machine, no suspension, my foot's going to be going up and down, therefore not actually revving up the engine. Because if I want to rev the engine, you just have to push a little bit harder, bypassing the spring and getting past this little bit of leeway I added in. This is a huge mod that a lot of people don't really do, but if you're doing a lot of trail riding, add that little bit of play in there, it will definitely help for you guys. So once you guys have all done that, you can call yourself an off-road mower with an off-road foot pedal. So it's a great mod to do for trail riding, rock crawling, or just doing anything you want on your off-road mower. Or even try it on your grass gun mower, you might have more fun because it is a gas pedal and it's way more fun than a stationary uh, up and down high idle setup. Mm -hmm.